Hello and welcome to another DCS video. I'm still in love with this game and I don't think that that's gonna change. I'm starting to see some things that should be probably different, should be like fixed or whatever. I'm gonna talk about that uh, in the video. But uh, yeah, uh, the game is still amazing. A game, it's a simulation, Grumpy. Today we're gonna be flying the F-A-18, the plane that I'm trying to master and uh, the plane that I'm falling in love with uh, because uh, it's amazing. And we're gonna do uh, three dogfights uh, against the uh, Su-30, uh, a Russian plane, Sukhoi-30, and there's gonna be a bonus in the end, uh, a few bonuses actually. Uh, I'm gonna fly the P-51 at, at one point and there's some like helicopter action, but uh, yeah, like, let me roll the intro, let me show you why I love DCS and why I think it's better, uh, like the fighting is better than in Star Citizen. So roll the intro. Hello, my name is... Yes. All right, so today we're gonna do three fights against uh, Sukhoi 30, which is gonna be off our nose, and we're gonna fly the FA-18. So these are gonna be guns only. Uh, he's popping flares. Yeah, oh, okay. Sure, buddy. These are gonna be FA uh, guns only missions. Uh, so just like straight up dog fighting. So I can show you some like, I, I mean, I'm still a noob, but I played some sim uh, games prior to this one, uh, sim-ish games, and I know that like everything revolves around energy states. So currently I'm going to try in this fight, I'm going to try to bleed his energy and stay on his tail, which you saw that I, I'm, I'm there already. He's gonna run out of flares like pretty pretty soon. I I might pop him here. Honestly, this could be it. Ooh, close. Oh, this is it. He is fucked. There we go. There's go there goes the pilot. And yeah, the parachute. So, uh, yeah, Splash 1, Sukhoi 30. Alright, so second round against uh, SU-30. He is off our nose again. Now we're gonna try to get him in a one circle fight this time. Let me see, alright. He's gonna pass this to the left, Altitude. here comes the merge. Actually, he forced the one circle. Okay. Not bad. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is... Uh, first off, it's awesome. It's super fun. Secondly, uh, this is what is missing from Star Citizen. Like, this kind of... Like, comet maneuvers that you gotta do. I gotta focus a bit. You gotta do to get on, the, on a guy 6 so you can kill him. And then, like, he can... Pull some like defensive maneuvers and I'm gonna see if he's gonna do something like he is an NPC if he was a, a real person uh, I'm not saying that like NPCs don't matter and that they're not real 
But uh, yeah, yeah. See, like he's slowing down here, which was like his demise. But uh, he was probably trying to pull me into like a scissors or something like that so I can overshoot. And I'm gonna try, in the third one, I'm gonna try to get him, uh, uh, by the way, spl splash one bandit. Um, so I'm gonna try to get him on my uh, ass so I can show you how that works. So let's do the third one. Alright, so this is gonna be the third fight against the SU-30 off our nose. You can see him there. This time though, I'm gonna try and make it easy for him. So he can like get onto my ass. This fucking oh, what an asshole. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> what an asshole, dude. I think his Best because of the first two rounds. Ed, all right. Okay. Fine. There's gonna be a fourth round then, I guess. Right, so after that disaster, I uh, I was thinking maybe not give him a a chance to get on my six. Maybe just pop him here. I'm not gonna pop him here. I'm gonna merge with him. I'm not a fucking asshole like he is. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give him that chance. Like if he if he actually gets on my six, that's fine. That's the merge. go if he actually does that that's fine i'm gonna shake him off and get behind him again but if not oh there we go actually there we go okay nice uh, you want to pull towards me maybe so once he gets on your six the best thing that you can do is you can try to make him overshoot which I'm probably going to show you in a bit with a P-47 or a P-51 Mustang. Uh, like the Warbirds from like World War II. But uh, it's either that or you make them like lose all their energy or... Oh, those should be hits, come on. Or you go into uh, scissors with them. And uh, I'm going to show you, I'm probably going to show you what scissors are. Uh, and you try to get behind them again. So you bleed your own energy so you can go slower so they can overshoot you. So in the end you can end up behind them. But then you're low energy. Uh, and uh, with jets it's a bit more like... It's easier to manage that because you're not going to stall, stall out and also you have jets, like jet engines behind you and uh, yeah, you're going to survive and you're going to like speed up or accelerate pretty fast, uh, which you're not going to do with the like P-47 or any of the uh, World War II uh, Warbirds. Come on. See, like, he's he's trying to do that to me right now. He's trying to make me overshoot. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm not that stupid. There we go. Splash 1 SU-30. So, what he did here is... Like, it was stupid, I guess. It's, like, because he's a NPC. He went, like, in front of my nose. And you never want to do that. 
Because, uh, yeah. That's what happens, basically. Right, so now we are flying the P-51 Mustang against the Falker Wolf 190. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There we go. As the merge. I just gotta not lose him. Uh, I wanted to show you some like gameplay with the P-47 actually, but all the pre-made uh, levels and uh, missions that I had are uh, cloudy, and I I tend to lose track on like planes even without clouds, and it's even worse then. And my button is stuck again. Amazing. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because the principle is the same. It's all energy-based fighting, like all close combat, close, uh, or dogfights are gonna be energy-based. And I think I have more energy than this guy. Oh, why, dude, you're gonna stall out before me. It's... Come on, hits. More hits. Not really the best angle, but manageable. All right. I I almost stole, so I had to like not shoot him anymore. Are we gonna go in a, into another circle? I guess. Yeah. All right. Another uh, another turn actually. So as I was saying, the principle is the same, and that's what's awesome with like plane fighting, and that's what's missing. For me, at least, in uh, Star Citizen. There we go. I think I killed the pilot. Let me see if he bails. Yeah, he's not burning, so and he's not bailing, so yeah. The pilot is uh, deceased. So, yeah, I had some like experience with uh, with Idle 2 and War Thunder, I had a lot of experience with War Thunder uh, simulation games or simulation uh, simulation battles actually, and uh, yeah, it's like it's the same. The principle is the same, and it's awesome. And that's what's missing for me, at least, from Star Citizen. Splash One, Falker Wolf 190. Now, as I've said in the intro, I'm still in love with, with this game, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. I'm still having issues with, like, my sticks, because uh, they are not really made for that. I didn't buy them for this game. Uh, they are, like, the, I need a throttle, basically. I'm just using a small little throttle. Uh, also, uh, again, if you can tell me if there's, like, a setting that, like, uh, I'm gonna use not to lose uh, planes in the distance when they're actually basically like pretty close to me because like i can see the, the the tree line and like each tree in the distance but i can't see the plane that's like uh, closer to me that that's just like weird uh if that's like a settings thing please tell me if not uh yeah dcs dcs needs to like or the uh, whatever ED Eagle Dynamics needs to fix that because uh, that's bullshit because you will need to like it's a sim it's a playing game y you gotta see them but anyway hope you enjoyed the video uh, a bunch of you like in the last one told me that I should try uh, flying helicopters and I did and uh, they're really hard to control uh, like as you told me but they're really fun and I had some fun war crimes yay Everybody wants to see some war crimes. So saying, can't you see? Ah, 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 ah. Da, 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 da.
da, 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 da. But anyway, again, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me uh, like what other uh, kinds of DCS gameplay would you like to see? I'm gonna do multiplayer because I'm 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 like fairly certain that I'm ready to like do multiplayer games and all that. But uh, we'll see. I'm gonna fly with uh, a bunch of noobs first, and then we're gonna see and hop into an actual multiplayer server. But uh, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link down in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, you're supporting me for buying planes, uh, equipment, ships for Star Citizen, uh, doing giveaways and all of that. So if you want to do that, great. If not, great. But again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to bring a tower when you're traveling through space, or when you're flying your FA-18 and killing Ruskies. I, I need to like think of a new catchphrase for, for DCS, I guess. Anyway, bye, love you. Mwah.